Back okay, well, super weird. We're back. Welcome back to part two of uh, Skulls and Shackles, Plunder and Peril. Uh, you know, tonight's broadcast is sponsored by Cerberus. Cerberus, by humanity, for humanity. And the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Squad. We're there for you, always watching, just in the shadows. Okay, that wasn't weird at all. Nope. Nope. The cake is a lie. You make me want. You make me want to play fucking S Sky Sword then. Fucking Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Commander Kirihi. Best character. Hold the line. <laughs> You know what I liked about Mass Effect? They had this giant story, but they only ever showed like four people on screen at once. That was the that was my favorite part of that whole thing. They, they the same thing happened with Dragon Age as well. They like try and show these epic battle scenes, but it's like five guys. Rex. You're like, yep. Shepard. 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 Rex. Shepard. Rex. Yeah. I am Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite RPG on the Citadel. Yeah, man. You know, there is what? a, uh, so part of my job for Humble is to, like, search for games and stuff. There is a guy on Steam, a curator list, which is called um, Commander Shepard's Favorite Game. And every <laughs> single review is, my name is Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite, this is my favorite game, game on Steam. On Steam. Fantastic. <laughs> and there's, like, there's, like, 90 games in there, man. It's fantastic. How you sell out quick, bro. Sell out quick. <laughs> Those Paragon... Those Paragon discounts at all the Citadel stores. Yeah. All right, so let's review the plan, although it sounds like we have two plans. We have a terrible plan by Cat, and we <laughs> have a mysteriously good plan from Dave. Yeah. What are those plans again? So my plan is to... We have a, a really angrily written letter by, uh, well, Betty, and... Uh, Sure. <laughs> the idea is is that we take the, the start of it where it says, Dear Ghost Man. And on the bottom it says, Sincerely, Betty. And then we change the insides of it using a magical spell, uh, which then Rafi will write with his best abilities and maybe with the help of the bard, so to add some knowledge to it that, you know, he would be, uh, you know, make it seem more legit. I guess, um, about their relationship, and uh, let him off easy, so in, the, in a hope that he would pass on the next world. And then, you know, if need be, we can put the necklace in there. I'll remove the horse from it and give him the necklace back. And uh, it is apparent that Rafi cannot swim, so he will once again cast uh, Whisper on each of the party, and then he will instruct whoever talks to the ghost in exactly what needs to be said. And I don't know what the other spell, the other plan was, but it sounded terrible. <laughs> yes, <laughs> allow me to explain. The more efficient plan, I will write writ of sacrifice, and we will sacrifice this woman in the name of the Empire and give the ghost what he wants, so to speak. Or what makes you think that she would just we could just poke the ghost full of holes if Rafi's plan doesn't work? I uh, guess. Did you did you did you not attempt to do that last time, Agrajog? He I has a whirlpool. Place. Whirlpool. What makes, what makes you think the whirlpool would not be there again? Well, I plan on not, on shooting first and asking questions later this time. Well, wouldn't, if we're going to do my plan, you would have to ask first? Yeah. You and your logic. Mm. Very well. Who feels best equipped to talk to the man who is dead under the ocean? I, you, which right? of you has, has the highest charisma? Yes, but <laughs> I, I feel I will not be able to even get inside of the ship. Let's see. Just have an unseen servant drag you around like a baby. <laughs> a hungry, angry baby. Where? I'm like a space marine. I'm smoking in my fucking, like, air bubble. <laughs> I 
I don't know that I've ever seen a space marine do that, but sure. But smoke inside his helmet. Come yeah, on, Star maybe Starcraft. Like, uh, Starcraft, but yeah. not Warhammer. Yeah. I don't play Warhammer, so I wouldn't know. But I've seen yeah, that. It seems trailer. like you're the one who's best equipped for talking. It would be great if we could actually talk to the man outside of his swim death hole. What so I take it we do not want to s me to get started on Writ of Sacrifice. Yeah, Writ of Sacrifice is absolute okay. last resort. Uh, Ket, I need to inform you that uh, we will continue to live on this boat after the fact. You will not. <laughs> it's a simple matter of That's we just to exist and not have a mutiny thrown at our feet. Yeah. I think the crew would murder us in our sleep if we started sacrificing people. Indeed. <clears throat> so, so uh, the wisdom checkbox. Um, so who, who feels like they could best transcribe what I say over whispers to this ghost? Um, uh, I guess I'm the most mobile, so sure. All right. Well, I'll I feel like we're all misanthropes, <laughs> except like I think Rafi's the only non-misanthrope among us. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm going to, uh, Arthur. I'm going to do yeah. this thing. Uh, the note's going to say something of the like of, uh, what's the ghost name again? Sorry. Helid. Helid. Okay. H a l i d. All right. It says, "Dearest Helid." Uh, unfortunately. Uh, what has become of you is something that I cannot uh, follow you. Uh, I cannot follow you as to where you are now. I have a whole life ahead of me. I will not forget uh, who you are and what you have done for me in your times that you were alive. But know this, when my time does come, we will be together again. Na, 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 na. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your linguistic skill? Uh, it would be straight up twenty, just a d twenty. Do you have any points in linguistics? No. Okay. You attempt to recreate the letter. It doesn't look like your handwriting at all. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> um, I have. Uh, I have. Eight in linguistics. I mm. can. Well, maybe you can scribe for me then. Give it a Are shot. Are you prestidigitating the piece of yeah. paper? Okay. Yeah. All right. I will make your check for you. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to flash this for the audience real quick so that they know how good you did. Uh. You should probably say how. I did. <laughs> no, it's how good. It's going to be how good. No, because he, he, he could be giving me uh I shouldn't be in the chat if Big Super X is just going to be like, oh, no. Daisy, don't look. All right. So <laughs> let's, let's go with the plan then. Yeah, you're confident in the ability to recreate her text. It's just in case it all goes to shit, though, air bubbles for everyone. Don't forget, you also have to air bubble the letter. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're resting. I will. I, uh, well, how about this? How about how about we roll up the letter? Uh, we will tie it with the uh, medallion with the necklace, so it's like sealed, and then we'll put it in an air bubble. So how many air bubbles are we gonna need? I think we need one for you, one for the commissar, one for my gun, one for the letter. Do you really need one for the gun? You I mean you have the ability to shoot underwater, right? I just like to save on bullets. All right. When you no. say that, literally, like five crew members around you are like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would put me with no usable spells first level for the day. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. So I can't, if you feel, I can't like, going, if you feel like going Dutch on the extra cost of a dry, of dry load cartridges, no one understands the, the pain of the gunslinger. 
<laughs> it's like I raise my hand. I'm like, I paid five gold for the necklace that you screwed up with. I feel like that is enough. Well, that's half a bullet. Fine, well, you then don't... I don't need an air bubble then. Whatever, let's do this. I cast mage armor on every single person. Okay. Well, I, it does nothing for me. I'm already wearing. Why not? It's, I'm already wearing a mithril chain shirt. Doesn't it works I don't against understand. incorporeal touch attacks? Oh shit! Yeah. Don't you feel dumb now? But yeah, he was never touch attacking us. All right. So everyone gets the mage armor, which is plus four AC. All right. <clears throat> Uh, I cast message on everyone as well, okay. like before. Yep. The plan is for Dan's character to go down and do say exactly what I say to this ghost and then hand him the letter with the amulet. Okay. And we'll go from there. Yep. All right, Trevor, are you still injured? You seem significantly injured on my screen. Uh, I was healed for a little, not fully. And we rested a day, so you heal a little bit more. Oh, I get my Welcome level? Hit points back. Yep. Plus, you can take a toke of the Hojo and get another temporary H hit point if you want. <clears throat> One? A single temporary hit point? Yep. It's a cantrip wand, so yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, good, though. It's been very useful. <laughs> sure. What the heck? I'll take the one. Uh, Be careful. Mark Do not take temporary two. hit point. Do not do, do not take a very big drag because uh, a man of your size it will probably knock you on your butt. You have been warned. Here is the hope. <coughs> and I hand him the hojo. Yeah, you said talk of a hojo, bro. Talk of the hojo. Right. Blur five minutes. I will blur. How many of us are going down? Four or three? Looks like three. 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 Okay, well, I will blur all three of us just before we go over the side then. Very well. I feel like this is going to go well, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the idea of the guy staying up on the ship is the one saying that. But yeah, Heartbreak Henson <laughs> comes up, the ship's bard, and first mate comes up. He's like, yeah, I agree. I think this is going to be a really great plan, guys. Put on your smiley faces and just be nice to him. <laughs> yeah, that worked so well. Yeah. He says, I'll see you. It did work pretty well. Didn't you try to shoot him? Nope. Didn't try to shoot him at all. Didn't you? You guys did something to him, right? And then they, it's like, oh, wait, you did literally nothing to him. <laughs> Aside from telling him that his love is unrequited. Unrequited. Requited. Heartbreak is just like the most lethal attack of all. Indeed, good <laughs> Heartbreak. Sir, indeed. And as he does that, like little sparkles <laughs> come out. He's using his bardic magic to like play up. Heartbreak. Alright, alright. We all ready to go? I suppose. I'm just gonna fall off the deck and dive in. Scuba style. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was just like, yeah, forward <laughs> right into the water. No, backward. Oh, okay. Because I was Stick. talking about heartbreak and just watching his bullshit. And it's like, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You fall backwards into the water. Who else is going in? I'll go. I will stage outside of the... Uh... Okay. You guys can move yourself around the... Edge of the hold, as you will. <clears throat> Who's got the letter? I guess it's me. Yeah. The drab <clears throat> should be fully healed as well. Oh, okay, thanks. <clears throat> sure, so you guys are like floating, swimming, right next <clears throat> to the... I, I should probably zoom out the camera on my face, but yeah, you're... You're holding position swimming, you know, just kind of holding there. Basically, it's like the Final Fantasy X underwater battle scenes where you just swim in place for hours on end until your turn comes up. All right. I'm going in. Okay. I need everyone to roll a perception check. Except for Rafi. Yeah, Rafi is getting high right now. 
It just can't handle this shit. <clears throat> That's some real conversation for your ass. Now she's trying to take me to court. Damn, everyone's doing well on these perception checks. Except for the commissar. Alright, roll for initiative. <clears throat> okay. Surprise! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ba -ba <coughs> Damn, Dreb. Wait, did I Crushing lose my it, initiative? Man. I think you lost my initiative somehow. Uh, yours is 14. Yeah, but it's not in the turn order. Oh, that would be because I have a roll 20 problem. It says the connection to the server has been interrupted. I don't have it uh -oh. yet, but it could happen. Uh, so, Dreb, you notice the following, and it seems pretty familiar when you hear the faint battle cries and screams coming from above you, and there's a vibration of something very large scraping against the bulk of the hull. Uh, dragon incoming duck, please relay. <laughs> I say, perhaps you should not stand in the hallway where it was breached previously. Yeah. Okay. Ragraja. You are up. Yo, ghost. Delivery for you. Um. You're swimming in wait there? Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm swimming in there. I'm delivering the letter. All right. We got a delivery from Bella for you. <clears throat> At the end of the round, the hull seems to wait, choke wait. and shake. Wait, wait, I didn't get a, I didn't get a turn. Did you not get a turn? <clears throat> wait, what? No, no. the first we person. Went... Yeah, you said you, this is what you see, and then you moved on to Agri Jag. Oh my bad. All right, Trev. Yeah, you have a Oop. turn. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because uh, I'm gonna about touch. Dragon attacks, so. Yeah, you said this is what I see. I thought that's just when we came in the room. No, no, that's what you hear. All right, well, you heard sounds of faint battle cries and screams from right. above, and you feel the vibration of something large okay. scraping against the Well, wall. I'm, I'm going to anything. cast haste on the three of us, okay. and I'm going to move. It's a surprise round. Oh. Okay, you cast haste. Agrajog. Then I'll cast haste, and I am goes done. in. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. I go in, and I guess I have 30 more feet of movement. Can I drop it, like, and have it hover there in the water and then come back? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. That no. sounds like a lot of moving. Remember, you're moving at well, quarter speed. No, I'm not. All right, you can swim. Sure, you drop it there. Drop it there and move the remaining now, 30 if back. if I remember correctly, it was tied around the locket, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the locket's going to fall if I do that, so I'm just going to hold it out. Whatever. Well, that's not what I'm concerned about. Sure, I mean, it'll the locket will stay there. The issue is he's a ghost, so he can't affect corporeal things. It's just a letter tied with a locket that he can't read. Oh, then I guess I'll just open it up okay. and, and hold it and out in front of his corpse. It. Maybe right. read it to him? I don't you're, know. You're doing, the, uh, well, you're doing the snow crash. You're just holding up a letter right where his face is going to appear. Pretty much. Okay, the hull seems to tilt and shake. The water in the hold rolls wildly, increasing the DC of swim checks to 20. A swirling vortex of water, the equivalent of an aqueous orb spell, begins to target Agrajog. Of course it does. Make a reflex save. It's gonna fuck up the letter. Uh, defenses. Good. Nope. Okay! Yeah. Uh, Halid does not disappear, but hasn't done anything. Like, yo, Halid, read this. He <laughs> scans it briefly and says, well, that's not Bella's writing at all. This looks like <laughs> garbage. Uh, this is obviously stupid. And now I'm going to kill you because I'm filled with <laughs> rage! <laughs> but... <clears throat> I like, I like, I like my head and was like, he should have read it to him. Just to be clear, you rolled a two, Greg. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was single digits from his reactions. So. Really, he rolled a two? Yeah. 
So what, he, he got 10 then? He got a 10. 10. Okay, well that explains it, I guess. All right, Treb, you're up. Guess he, I... he has made his declaration of killing intent. You can feel the murderous waves coming off of him. All right, I will uh, touch Dreb with... Uh, Touching yourself? Uh, Diviner's Fortune. You said Dreb. I'm sorry, Agrajag with uh, Diviner's Fortune. So I'm way over here. To him? <clears throat> You're right beside me on my screen. Nope. Mm, no, I'm not. He went ah, inside shit. to deliver the letter. Yeah. Okay, well then I will move... I'm hasted so I can move, what, 15? I will move. So you got to make a swim check to go inside. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm not going inside. I'm going to move and touch the commissar with okay. uh, diviner's fortune, which apparently I don't. Is Cat even watching. in the game? Cat. Yes. I mean, are you, uh, your camera's back on, by the way. My camera is on. There it oh, goes. It is now. <clears throat> I had no idea it was off. All uh. right. So, you divine fortune him. Rafi, are you relaying everything that you've heard via your it, whisper network? Yeah, and then I also remind the party not to stay in the breach for very long. Yeah, dragon coming. All right. He <clears throat> begins staring at Agrajog. Agrajog, you need to make a fortitude save. Of course I do. I may have to leave and come back because my screen is not updating. Yeah, you should probably. Uh, and then, can I also add one additional thing? Yes. To, yep. um, <clears throat> after hearing that he is angry <clears throat> at uh, the, fraud, the falsification of this document, perhaps I can ask uh, Dreb to cancel his predigitation on the letter and then have Agrajag actually say, this is, this is actually what she wrote. We were trying to simply make it less harsh. <clears throat> Let you off easy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. Does that work? Unfortunately, prestidigitation isn't dispellable. <coughs> but I, oh. I, yeah, I think you could probably wipe it away, right? You're not uh, really with another dispelling it. You're just relieving the illusion on it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just press digitate on my turn and get rid of it. All right, Agrajog, you take 12 points of damage. <coughs> Done. And it is your turn. Uh, can I delay until after Dreb? No. Commissar. Yes. <coughs> ah. Well, you, you weren't going to show him the letter again, Dan? No, I'm going to show after it after it, it dispels. I'll delay as well. Oh, okay, you have to do it on your turn. I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, Agrajog, I need you to make a reflex save as the living vortex of water attempts to unswirl you again. All right. Nice. So Dreb. you got hit and then you got out? Is that what that was? Uh, I will... As prestigitate range is short. You should Let's be fine. Let's see. <laughs> Ten feet. Lol. I I can't I can either get there or reach it. Should be and fine. I'm not going inside, so. And I don't have dispel. Hmm. So how do you get the rid vortex, of it? So if I go inside at all, I have to start making swim checks, right? Yep. And if I move this turn, I'm probably going to be right there for the dragon to blast me. So. This didn't work out well, y'all. It's a good plan. You want me to just poke him full of holes? All right. Because I can do uh, that. I because will thank just. Thank you for the haste. Five, ten, ten, fifteen. No matter where I go, I can't wind up. I'm going to wind up right in the middle of that. <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it anyway. I'll move and then I'll make a swim check. Yep. Okay, so it persists an hour. That's how you get rid of it. Shh. Okay, you try to swim into the hole and you get caught <sighs> right in the vortex. In the middle of the blast from the dragon again. 
Yay. Okay. Uh, I mean, is that your first move or is that your second move? Oh, my first move was, well, I guess I first move I stopped there if yep. I didn't make swim check, right? So I'll make a yep. second. Sure. <sighs> All right. Amazing. Awesome. Uh, Agrajog, you have delayed. Screw it. Uh, da, 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 da. I, is he appearing to threaten at all? Should oh, I yes, make? Yes, he is a ghost. So he's yeah. a ghost. All he has to do is touch you. Yep. So I'll make an acrobatics check and a swim check. <clears throat> well, my swim bonus is plus twelve, and since I have a speed, I can take ten. Okay. So I automatically make the twenty-two. Uh, I'm going to move 15 back and uh, try to poke a hole in him. Okay. Here's a question. What are you doing with the letter? I'm probably dropping it along the way. I see. Where exactly are you dropping it? I feel like that's going to be important. Mm-hmm. Well, I probably dropped it first thing, and as I was doing like water barrel rolls to get my musket like I was pulling it so maybe like this square it lands in sure. I want to say that's accurate yeah I'd say that's pretty accurate I mean like it's kind of like how you can't leave sand and mm -hmm. whatever yeah Yeah. Sure. I mean shot. it's in an air bubble I don't know how that works though so it's yeah, gonna float there hmm. it's okay. open now there's that. And How long has it been since they since we did it? Um, less than two minutes. Okay. So all right. So it's, it's going to be a long time. He's got to get close enough <coughs> to rewrite it or unwrite it. Okay. Yeah. You hit him. Is your musket magical? It is magical. Okay. So fifteen divided by two, seven, I guess. Yep. And I load in another uh, dry load. Your commissar, are you coming out of delay? Um. No, I'm good here. Already <coughs> a um, spell if he comes within close range. What spell? Snowball. What represents close range? Thirty-five feet. Okay. <coughs> Raffy. Yep. <coughs> Maybe I say uh, the spell will on the on the letter will last for an hour. Perhaps it might be a good idea to. Uh, come back and let him see the letter on its own accord? Uh, no. Well then, continue shooting the ghost. <laughs> okay. Agrajog, make a fourth save. As he looks at me. <clears throat> okay, you take eight points of damage. Reb. I will attempt to swim again. Nope, God, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Um. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Dragon Blast time. Dragon Blast time. Alright, oh, for my shit. second. It happens, well, the, it, it happens before, before my turn, turn. Or? Yeah. Okay. Because you are the first acting in the yep, order now. I am at the top. So, That's exactly uh, where I had. Reflex save from Dragon Agrajog. Exactly where I did not Don't want to be. Don't fail it this time, Agrajag. The ghostly face of 